Hey y'all, so I wanted to just come on here. I told you guys on my last video, um, on my last um, journey, fitness journey or whatever series I'm doing now, um, I told you guys that I'll put up a video just talking about like my first three days on Slim for Life. Um, so pretty much the first day, um, it was straight like unlimited protein, unlimited vegetables. Like that means for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I was eating protein, um, no measuring or anything like that, but I was just eating protein, vegetables for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, in between meals, I, um, in between meals, I didn't do anything. Like, the only thing I did was just drink, um, drink a supplement. Like, I was, I was only allowed to drink water. I wasn't allowed to drink anything else. Um... So, like, for breakfast on the first day, I had steak and eggs, okay? And then for lunch, I had a, um, I had a shrimp salad. And then for dinner, I believe I had chicken, chicken and vegetables. I think I had, like, broccoli. Um, and so, in between all those meals, like, if you ever get hungry, there was no snacking. If you ever got hungry, you was um, to keep an orange with you at all times. Like if you felt like your blood sugar getting low or whatever, you would take um, drink, bring an bring an orange with you everywhere you go. So that's what I did. Um, on my second day, I did the exact same meal plan. Like I didn't want to change it up because I knew I was only gonna be eating like that for three days. So I was like, you know what? So that I'm not getting new things, new things, new things. I'm just gonna eat steak and eggs for breakfast shrimp salad for lunch and chicken and vegetables for dinner so that's what I did all three days um the third day however um breakfast I was only able because I didn't meal prep which is I'm gonna get to that in a minute I was only able to eat two boiled eggs um so I was good you know like two boiled eggs I don't even eat that I don't even eat breakfast at all but before this so I had two boiled eggs I was good by lunchtime, I started getting hungry, um, so I was I had to eat quickly, put together like 10 shrimp, and throw together a salad real quick. And um, and when I mean salad, I mean just green leafy vegetables. You wasn't allowed anything else in your in your vegetables. Only green leafy vegetables was the only thing you allowed to eat if you decided to eat a salad. So I was putting cilantro, um, you know, the mixed container of mixed vegetables you get at Walmart. It's like the spring mix, I believe. I was just eating that because it was all green um, and some green onions mixed in there. So I had that. Those are the salads that I'm talking about when I'm saying I had salads. So I had that. Um, so by lunchtime, I was able to only throw together 10 shrimp. Which usually I try to eat more protein than that um, because I was, I was not snacking. I was only eating three meals a day. So I... You know, I was like, yeah, I'm okay. This is going to last me. I'm going to be able to make it. Y'all, two hours later, I was, felt like I was dying, okay? Like, I felt like, I felt like my body was slowly just deteriorating slowly. And it, and I was like, either I do something quick or I sit here and suffer and don't do anything at all. So, um, one thing that they do give you, it's what's called boost. So, it's like a little mixture of package of something powdery substances that flavors your water so I quickly poured up one of those and drunk that this is like around 6 p.m. Um, I didn't want to eat any sooner than that because I knew I was going to be staying up all night because me and my family were going to be sitting around watching movies for my son's birthday so I was like you know what I'm gonna hold off so that when they're eating pizza I can be eating my dinner so that's what I was trying to do which I shouldn't have done I should have went ahead and ate but anyway I went ahead and drank that boost and then I remember them telling me Take an orange with you because you never know when your blood sugar it might drop and you're gonna get drug not um and you're gonna get really dragging feeling and fatigue and tired. So that's exactly what I was feeling. I barely felt that the first two days because I was actually eating the way I was supposed to be eating, as far as like piling on protein and piling on vegetables. Um and the third day I was just moving around a lot. Um, because like I said it was my son's birthday, so me and my husband were moving around a lot that morning. Um so I hurried quickly and I hurried up quickly and grabbed an orange I sliced it up and when I tell y'all I don't even eat oranges like at all like the only thing orange I would eat is like um orange juice or those little bitty um little bitty tiny oranges which I'm not allowed to have because it's jam-packed with sugar 
Um, I went to town. When I tell y'all I killed that orange, like I, I even wanted to eat the peeling. And y'all out there that taste oranges know the orange peeling is very, very, very disgusting. But that's how, that's how much my body was craving for that sugar for just a hungry okay so i was like you know what i'm not gonna do this again the rest of this um the rest of this plan even when i start doing my plan i'm gonna make sure that i get all my food in hence why i'm finna start meal prepping because god forbid and in the name of jesus i'm not finna be going without having everything that i'm supposed to eat okay um and then on top of like you're eating these meals they give you supplements which i won't get into all that yet i know a lot of y'all probably are wondering like what kind of supplements they give you blah, blah blah a lot of it is just like vitamins and then stuff that helps um speed up your metabolism um but i'll get into a lot of that as time goes by because really i don't know if that's helping right now or not i'm just taking it and it's supposed to be helping decrease your appetite and all that kind of stuff so i don't want to get into that yet on this video but i promise y'all if you hang tight and follow me along on this journey i will be talking about it more um but so while you're taking these supplements it's supposed to decrease your appetite and increase your metabolism which it does that but keep in mind for those first three days you're only taking one of those supplements and that's with breakfast but when I start the plan, I'm actually going to be, uh, which today starts my plan, but I'm still talking in the past as though I'm done with the three days. Um, because I'll update y'all on my week after I started the plan. So that's another video. When my family ate the pizza, uh, me and my husband, not purposely, but I was trying to meal prep for the next day. So um, I was in the kitchen cooking with my headphones on, trying to deny that good pizza I was smelling. And then I also like came to the back just a little bit, but because I'm still in the early ages, I in the early days of this, I don't want to be tempted because y'all know temptation is very hard and strong. But I surprised myself because as much as I love pizza, which I can't eat Domino's pizza anyway unless it's their gluten free, um, and I don't care for gluten free pizza, like I can't stand it, it takes away the good taste of pizza. That's why I wasn't as tempted with the pizza like I thought I would be because I knew I was hungry, but because I haven't been. I've been able to eat, not eat pizza and sit right in front of my kids and even feed my son the pizza and not, um, and not want it because I've been on a gluten-free diet for six months now, previous to starting this. So, um, it wasn't as hard, but, um, those are my three days. The first two days, like I said, it was okay. Um, one of those days I had to go to work, so it was a little tough at work because I wanted so hard to go to the vending machine and grab a bag of hot Cheetos that had 350 calories and buku's amounts of salt. And oh, bringing up salt. Um, also on this diet, I'm only which I don't eat. I don't eat regular table salt. I haven't ate it for years and years and years and years. And I mean like the plain Morton salt. I have not ate it because of my high blood pressure. Like I'll use salts like mrs dash or which doesn't have any salt in it but i'll use like um the mccormick seasonings the flavored seasonings that's the the only amount of salt i'll use so um do having to switch over to eating morton salt kind of scared me a little bit but because i'm only using one fourth of that salt the whole day it's okay because actually just using that little bit amount of sodium is working for me now on the steak not so much because steak to me has to be seasoned down like it has to be seasoned down so that you can taste it i didn't care for steak because um because steak to me i think i need a lot of seasoning on my steak chicken you can flavor that really good put a little bit of salt and it's okay and even shrimp i don't need any salt on my shrimp so um that was a little rough with having to force myself to eat the beef because I don't eat beef on a daily basis and I don't care for beef unless it's a filet mignon and y'all out there know filet mignons are very expensive. So with that being said, I was having this to just settle with some sirloin steak from Walmart, which was not good. So like as much as, much as people love steak, if I don't have steak seasoning, steak sauce, like A1 sauce and it's not seasoned really good, I hate steak. So having to force myself to eat that steak was my struggle these first three days. And now that I'm starting the plan, I don't even have to eat steak if I don't want to, which is freaking awesome. Um, I still get to have king crab. So on my third day for my dinner, I had king crab and I had a salad. So that was freaking awesome that I got to eat king crab. And you can still cook your food in oil and butter. So that's what I was doing the first three days. Now I have to use... Pam moving forward which is gonna suck but I can 
I can use diet margarine, which I'm gonna play around with that. And um, growing up, I love to cook. I love experience with different foods, and I've always been told that I really can cook good. Hence, why my husband want me to cook all the freaking time. But um, so I'm I'm really excited to like experiment with different foods that I that I have to eat. I'm really I'm really excited to start playing around with food again because this is actually what I used to want to do. I used to want to be a chef growing up. Since my husband already eats pretty healthy uh, because he's like a fit junkie, gym, rat, whatever you want to call it, um, it's not going to be hard for me because um, what I'm cooking, I'm going to be able to cook for him. The only, the only thing that's going to be a little tough is that I'm going to have to add more seasoning to his food which is not really tough but it's just going to be extra prep time and time in the kitchen so i need to give me some really comfortable tennis shoes <laughs> no the the tough thing is my kids like i'm gonna have to be cooking separate for them and not really cooking separate because usually what i cook my husband to eat they really like to and they don't really think oh this is like a very he healthy meal i'm eating grilled chicken and broccoli like they love broccoli they love grilled chicken um, even like if I give them hot dogs or bread, they got broccoli, not chips. Or if they're eating um, oodles and noodles, which is not good, I'll mix their chicken noodles with broccoli. Like every single vegetable they eat is broccoli. Every once in a while, I'll do mixed vegetables for them. But other than that, they're just doing quick um, frozen meals. So um, it's not going to be that hard as far as like my family want this, that. I got, I got to suffer cooking through the kitchen doing all that. So for me, it's not going to be as tough, um, except for the times whenever we get the kids fast food or something like that, and I want to sneak a French fry. <laughs> that's what's going to be hard, okay? So um, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I went through my first three days. I'm going to be doing these weekly. Um, like today is when I really start my plan um, because I'm done with those first three prep days. Um, I actually start my plan, so every week I'm going to be recording b by Saturday, like on every Saturday. I'll have them posted every Monday, so every Monday you guys will see a new updated video for me telling you guys how my week went, what kind of exercises I'm doing, um, and then also I'm going to be telling y'all like how my struggles and um, needing some motivation <laughs> And what I've been using for motivation and things like that. And so just stay tuned every Monday for that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you guys my body shot. Also, let's get into um, let's get into the weight. Before I end this video, I'm going to try to do weight changes and body shots at the end of each video. So, so far when I started this plan, I was 192. If y'all watched my previous video, I told y'all I was 192. Um, each day that I went in, I was losing, 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 losing on the first three days of my prep phase. I was losing weight every single day I went in. Every, all those three days I went in to um, check in and for them to check my blood pressure, my um, just kind of talk to you and just kind of see what all you're doing. So anyway, we already said all that. But um, each day I weighed in for three days and all together like 192, my consultation day. Right now, this is my fourth day on the plan, but this 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 fourth day actually starts the plan. The first three days, like I said, were the prep phase. And each one of those days, I lost one to two pounds. So now, um, I weighed in today because my three days was up, and I weigh 187. So from 192 to 187 is where I'm currently right now. My goal weight is 125. If y'all haven't known, if y'all haven't heard that part yet, so my goal is in 24 weeks I'm gonna lose 67 pounds so yeah <laughs> four pound 4.8 pounds down and I'm so excited because honestly y'all I have not been losing no kind of pounds like at all I've only been gaining pounds so to know that so far I've only been on this program for three and a half days and I've already lost 4.8 pounds that says that it's gonna work for me so yeah, if you want to know if this is the first video you're watching, please go back and I'll start numbering these videos so y'all can know what number I'm on. Um, but go back and watch the first video I posted when I really talked about everything that I'm going to be doing and how the program works. Um, so you'll understand the videos moving forward. And I also have body shots on that video too. So let's go ahead and get these body shots. Mm. 
Okay, y'all. Sorry that my face is like cut off and everything, but this is the best I can do. As time goes on, I'm going to um, do better with showing you guys my body shots. So just bear with me, please. Um, this is just... As you see, my penguin outfit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So this is the front of my body. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.